I just have three words for you. Fuck. The. Critics. First of all, I just want to thank Movie Man Menzel for the opportunity of me posting a review on his We Live Film channel. Thank you, Movie Movie Man Menzel, for the opportunity for this. I really appreciate it. And, of course, being a part of the Robin Williams Suicide Awareness Project. So, I've chosen today's movie, Patch Adams, because this movie got a lot of hate, but it's actually a very damn good movie. So Patch Adams is a story of, well, Patch Adams, played by Robin Williams, who is a depressed and suicidal man. So he checks himself into a mental institution to get over that type of thing. Sort of like a way of healing himself. And, of course, he meets a couple of people in there, and basically they're in worse shape than he is, but he has the opportunity to do something about it so he makes them all happy and he uses that to his advantage and like well maybe I can make other people happy as well so he goes off to school to become a doctor because he wants to be a doctor to help people and stuff like that but of course he has to get by this very mean Dean okay and this Dean is not a man to, to impress Okay, so he puts Patch through a lot of crap. And when Patch um, says enough, he goes off and um, opens up his own medical clinic, basically. For free, free of charge, no insurance needed, nothing like that. And basically starts to treat the sick, injured, and making everybody happy by putting smiles in their faces because of his sense of humor. Patch Adams is just one of those movies that even though it's based on a true, a true event I'm not sure how much is it, it's based on it it's just one of those movies when you put it on it, it gets so realistic into the, the brass tags of doctors and hospitals you just gotta go this is real life you know this is this is reality okay because when you're in the hospital, doctors don't do what Patch does. Okay, they don't sit there and they don't try and make you happy. Some of them might crack a few jokes if they're 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 the good doctors, but if you get one of those bad ones, you're not gonna have a well good experience in the hospital trying to get um re trying to be get recovered. You know what I mean? It's it's not gonna be that good for you. It's gonna be more miserable for you than anything. And Patch Adams knows this, and his key to all of that is just trying to put smiles on people's faces while they're there. It don't matter if they're sick, if they're injured, if they're in the face of death, unfortunately. Because Patch doesn't see death as a bad thing. He sees it for what it is. It's just a part of life. You have to deal with it. And he understands that to the T. And I do, too. So I can relate with that. The movie is just so relatable, and Robin Williams does a great job at portraying Patch Adams. It is amazing. And then you got Monica Potter in here, and she does a good job as his love interest. She plays very hard to get, but yeah, also relatable. Women do that. The casting is great in this movie, okay? Um, the director, Tom Sajak, I think that's how you say his name, he does a good job in this movie. Okay, everything was just great. It's, it's a heartfelt movie. If you can get past maybe like the first 10 minutes which he, when he's in that mental, I mean, yeah, mental institution. Because, you know, some of the, some of the aspects that it's kind of not needed. It could have been a little bit tweaked a little bit. Some of them, some people just might downright hate the beginning of that movie, of the movie, but it kind of serves its purpose a little bit just rework it a little bit and you're going to end up loving that beginning for me I just wish it would have been retweaked a little bit that's all I'm saying about that that's it 
it's just a very well done movie okay and it's sad that we don't get doctors like this nowadays we don't get people who wants to be to go out of their way to do this for people you know because I've been in the hospital several times this year I seen how these doctors behave and stuff like that and just from once for once look at a patient the way you will look at your kids the way you will look at your parents the way you probably look at yourself you know what I mean this movie touches on all that it is amazing what a simple movie can tell you okay not only that but it also it also goes out of its way to tell you when you work so hard for something and you finally get it to just have it taken away from you just like that it's hard it, it's hard you know what I mean and because that does something like that just happened in this movie if you haven't seen the movie you really should it is an incredible journey you know it's not even two hours long that's the thing this movie is only an hour and 53 minutes long it gets to its point straight away and you're just hooked for the rest of the movie you you just want to see this man succeed you just oh my god and there's just a this scene and he's in the hospital and there's this man and he's very grumpy you know what I mean he does nobody nobody wants to see him at all but patch tries his hardest to get this man to smile and stuff like that and when he finally does it is amazing you know because that man even though he doesn't say very much of anything has the most development in the movie and of course when something goes in it's one of those things just like thank God for patch thank God for patch and thank God for those kids those kids Oh, those kids are awesome. They they will literally just tear your heartstrings out. They're, they're, they're even though they're all sick and they're all maybe some of them maybe has cancer because I know he's. They show this one girl. God bless that girl. God bless that girl. God bless Patch Adams, man. This movie was just awesome. I'm giving this movie an A. So underrated. It is so underrated, and I'm pretty sure it'll be in a list of top Robin Williams movies but since this man has like a hundred and six movies under his belt it at least deserves an honorable mention at the at most it is one movie nobody ever talks about and it's a shame because this movie serves as a template to your life to our lives to everybody's lives have fun that is the tone of the movie just have fun while we're here you may not be here tomorrow thank you again Scott for this opportunity let me know what you all think about patch Adams down below and if you want to see more reviews from me just come over to my channel check out JW universe I'm always around I'm always uploading every day daily content for everybody so if you do like my review thank you and come check me out thank you again Scott for this opportunity I really do appreciate it he's a great man and thank you for this this was something I really wanted to, to do all right you guys I'll see y'all later